This is a question we get all the time. So let's break it down. You can't really avoid the oxidation of L ascorbic acid based vitamin C's, and that's okay. That's why we do things on our end to slow down that process. And then there are some things that you can do at home to slow down that process. So oxidation happens with exposure to heat, light, and air. We have our liquid gold in an opaque bottle. So to prevent any excess light exposure, and also you're going to want to keep this product in a drawer and a shelf. So it's not just sitting there getting blasted by the sun. You also want to be closing your vitamin C fully with each use. So you're not getting unnecessary exposure to air. How can you tell if your vitamin C is oxidized. The key here is color. Typically a vitamin C serum, depending on the formulation is either a light milky color or a yellow color. Now, if it starts to get to orange or dark brown, then that's oxidized. The thing that I think is a differentiator for bare face and our liquid gold is the way that we choose to manufacture. We keep our vitamin C productions every six weeks. And so, you know, when you're getting our liquid gold, that it's been produced within six weeks in the world of manufacturing, that is very fresh. And that's really important to me to maintain our brand integrity because I want to make sure that you're getting the cream of the crop.